Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Simplify Your Space. Today's video is on toys organization. Organizing toddler's toys always looks like an impossible task, especially if you have a toddler like mine who just loves to scatter his toys first thing in the morning and then probably will pick up one or two and go to another room to play with it, just for 5 minutes. Our room often ends up looking something like this. But there is no need to worry. By using some simple methods, we can keep them neat and organized. Let's see how I've done it. We don't have a dedicated toys closet or room for our kid. Instead, we use one corner of our bedroom as toy storage area. This wall has been decorated with wall stickers, which you would have seen in earlier videos. Corner here has the craft of the week board. All the craft done in his play school are pasted here and when the board gets full, they are selectively shifted to archive folder shown in this video later. This is a DIY board made of foam sheet. I have decorated it with few beautiful stickers. We have these two chalkboard wall stickers on which we write weekly learning goals. These are good for little long term writing. For everyday usage, we use this easel board. It's so much fun with playing and learning with the toddler. E. Yes. Okay. F. F. For toy storage, I use this cubicle from Pepper Fry. You can get it done by any local carpenter also. In these three separate sections, I use non-woven baskets which perfectly fit here to store toys. First two are used for storing different types of vehicle toys. The third one is used for storing few other miscellaneous toys such as doctor set, toy animals and car slider. We have attached label to these baskets which are simple clothes price tags. On the back of these tags, we have pasted relevant stickers so that it helps the kid and us to reorganize and rearrange the toys easily. Just look at the relevant sticker and place the toys in the correct basket. Kid may not know reading but can always understand the picture on the label. It helps the kid learn the basics of organizing right from the beginning. On the top of the storage, we keep his additional toys like vegetable cutting set in this basket which is just next to his kitchen set. He grabs his folding stool from the corner to sit and play here comfortably. At times, we love to be part of his pretended kitchen place. It's so much fun. Going back to the storage countertop, in another small basket, we keep his miniature cars. We have a piggy bank where he collects coins. Generally, we buy a new toy when his bank is full after a period of saving. Hopefully, this should help him understand the concept and importance of saving. We have few more toys here and next to them is a magazine holder where all his stories and learning books are kept neatly. This folder is an artwork archive. Once the week is over, we remove all the artwork from the board and store the selected ones in this folder. In another folder, we keep all his stickers for craft making. Now in this corner, we have this drawer system to keep his additional items like few miscellaneous toys, drawing supplies, flashcards, jigsaws and puzzles. We also have a plastic mat kept here which is used while painting activities. It helps protecting floor from accidental spillage of colors. For puzzles and flashcards, we use these Ziploc bags to keep all the pieces together. It also helps to pick one quickly if you are going out to keep the kid busy while traveling. Top of this drawer system is used to arrange few stuffed toys. We use this basket to keep his outdoor activities toys such as bat, balls and hockey sticks. Generally, it is kept next to the exit door from where kid readily picks up the toy and put it back after playing. To keep the toy area clutter free, please keep purging the broken and outgrown toys. Now, here is an interesting tip. If your kid has stopped playing with some toys, remove those toys and store them somewhere else. And after a month, pick few toys from the same container and give him back. 
kids feel so joyful almost like getting a new toy by a simple toy rotation. The biggest lesson that we have learned is that kids will always scatter the toys. But if organizing is made fun, they will themselves be interested in organizing their toys back. A great habit to learn at this young age. And for particular days, if they don't, you can do it in just 5 minutes if you have arranging system in place. So thank you for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe for many more organizing videos. I'll see you next week. Till then, happy organizing from Simplify Your Space. Bye-bye.